My name is Kazim Tang. I'm the chairperson of the Mismi Welfare Association Delhi and also the chairperson of the coordination committee. Today here in Anachal House, I've been accompanied with the representatives of CBS, uh, various CBOs and BSUs of Delhi NCR. We have General Secretary of DNSU, Mr. Joram Tara, Convener of DNSU, Akom Malen Babla, President of Apatani Student Society Delhi, Mr. Takemai, Finance Secretary of Apatani Student Society Delhi, Mr. Duyu Rambo, and we have Finance Secretary of Apsat, All Arnachal Buddhist Student Association Delhi, Pasang Lamu, Ms. Pasang Lamu, and Cultural Secretary of Adisu, Ms. Wang Tamud, and President of Arnachal Noida Student Union, Mr. Dodum Tara. Now my senior would like to address certain issues and grievances experienced by the students here in Delhi NCR and a few related issues regarding the upcoming Asuda election. That regardless of our countless effort and numerous notice that we have served or given to the Asuda organization, as you can see out here, so all the replies that we got from them was negative. So in a way they were neglecting or uh, keeping aloof our demands. So if they don't fulfill our demands or they are not able to do it, then we'll go in a uh, democratic way and form an interim committee which will be guided under the, uh, under, the, uh, under the guidance of the senior members out here and the BSU and CBOs will fully support it. My name is Victoria Navy. Currently, I am pursuing LLB from Faculty of Law, Delhi University. We, the students of Arunachal Pradesh in Delhi, have made out some points regarding issues and grievances related with the upcoming Asud election. The first issue being, we are skeptical of the integrity of the chairman for the upcoming Asud election. The reason being, the chairman is a non-student and it seems he is out of touch with the academic realities of the institutions in Delhi and NCR. The dates for registration and uh, election which was notified to us is conflicting with the exam dates and holidays of NCR students. And this would lead to less representation of students in the election, resulting in their rights being denied to vote and electing their representatives, which is unjust and unfair already. But what is seriously wrong is that the same individual had reviewed the bylaw without the consultation of the CBOs, BSUs and the students in general. He didn't even acknowledge the suggestion of those who were present when the bylaw was being reviewed. Many changes have been made in the bylaw without the consultation of the CBOs, BSUs and the students. After the bylaw was held, the CBOs, BSUs and students had multiple times requested to the chairman for the updated bylaw being revealed, be revealed to the public, but it seems there was no response at all. Therefore, this shows that the, uh, there's a lacking of transparency in the whole election process. And it also makes us doubtful and questionable about the integrity of the chairman for the upcoming election. Further, the charging 300 rupees for registration for the upcoming elections. Firstly, we would like to know why are they charging such exorbitant amount from the students for registration. Secondly, why is bylaw being given only after registration amount has been paid? This shows that the process is not only opaque and uh, unfair, but also exploitative. They are exploiting the students in the name of registration. Therefore, we the students have no faith in the chairman and therefore de declare him to be illegitimate. I would like to make a point very clear that our stand should not be seen against Asur as a body of students, but against those who are its current executive members. There are many CBOs, BSUs, bona fide students and senior uh, students in Delhi, but Asud have 
hardly consulted any of them regarding bylaws or elections of the Asud. Any notices issued by Asud are not being given to CBOs, BSUs or students. They are only uploaded online after a delay of the um, after a delay from the date of the notification. And these are being done from outside the Delhi, especially from Arunachal. As and because of all these reasons that I have cited, we have no confidence in any of the current executive members or anyone appointed by them. Our core demand therefore is that the current chairman be termed illegitimate and be replaced from among us the bona fide students in Delhi who would actually understand the sentiments of the students studying in Delhi right now and the problems experienced by them. Also, we demand that the bylaws be made public immediately. Thank you.